okay so now right here we will change the title to flutter to do list after this the debug show banner will be false and now right here in the lib folder we will create a new directory and name it as screens and inside this screens directory we will create a dart file by the name of home underscore screen and right here we will create a stateful widget by the name of home screen and also make sure to import the material dot dart library at the top and now if we go back to the main dot dart file right here we will remove this scaffold and right here we will call that home screen class and make sure to import the home underscore screen dot dart file at the top as well now let's just run our application so if we click on this run button and now in a minute our application will be running so just wait for it so as you can see we are redirected to the home screen directory because uh, we call the home screen right here so now if we get back to the home screen dot dot file right here we will return a scaffold and inside this scaffold we will first add a background color so we will say colors dot blue accent and after this we will create a floating action button so type floating action button and in here the background color will be theme dot of context dot primary color so by default it will pick this primary color which is blue and after this inside this on pressed we will leave this as empty for now and after this we will create a child and inside this child we will add an icon so type icon then icons dot add and select this first one okay so now if we go to load our application and see our emulator as you can see the background color is blue accent and as you can see here is our floating action button right here change this uh, color to colors dot deep purple now we start the application and now as you can see it looks more beautiful okay so now after this uh, floating action button right here we will uh, open up a body and inside this body we will create a list view dot builder and in here the padding will be edge insects dot symmetric and from the vertical it will be 80.0 after this the item count will be 1 and then in the item builder right here we will say build context then context and after this we will say int index then right here inside this curly braces we will say if index is equals to 0 then right here what we will do we will return a padding and inside this padding we will say edge inserts dot symmetric the horizontal value will be 40.0 and the vertical value will be 20.0 after this right here we will create a child then a column 
and inside this column the cross axis alignment will be cross axis alignment dot start and then we will create a children and inside this children we will open up a text widget and inside this text widget we will type a text which is my notes and after this we will open up a style from text style and inside this text style the color will be color stop deep purple and after this the font size will be 40.0 then the font weight will be font weight dot bold and after this text widget right here we will add a size box of height 10.0 and after this size box we will copy and paste the text widget and right here we will say 0 of 10 and the font size will be 20.0 and the font weight will be W600 so after this if condition right here we will return a widget by the name of fail not and right here we will simply type index and now copy this name and if you scroll up right here we will say widget then fill node and in here we will say int index now in here we will do turn now padding So right here we will say edge insets dot symmetric and the horizontal value will be 25.0. After this we will create a child and then a list type and inside this list type we will first add a title and the title will be not title after this the subtitle will be focus 16 2021 and the priority will be high after this we will add our trailing from our checkbox and inside this checkbox the on changed value will be from now value And then in here we will simply print the value then outside this training the active color will be theme dot of context dot rank the color and after this the value will be true so after this right here we will change the item count to 10 now let we'll just restart our application and as you can see our home screen design is now completed oh, let us change this to this minus sign now if we restart our application now it looks more good now let's set a divider after every node so if we scroll up right here inside this do not widget after the list style right here we will add a divider and also let's have this list style with a column and right here we will type widget and now we can move the divider and paste it after this this style so now if we restart our application as you can see here is the divider 
and let's change the height of the divider to 0.5 or 5.0 and the color of it will be colors dot deep purple and the thickness will be 2.0 so now let's hit restart and now it looks more perfect 